So guys, now it is finally June, and we're going to be doing a June EDC update. And I'm spicing up a little bit here, and we're going to be doing this on the ground, like on the actual dirt, because I have quite a large amount of EDC stuff. And this Anyways guys, as always, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe if you're not already and you want to see more awesome Alaskan content. Without any further ado, let's take a look at all my EDC. So starting off with the most clearly prevalent thing here is knives. So start off with the largest one. And like I said, because I'm doing a lot of hikes and outdoor adventures, I'm carrying a heavy duty thick survival knife on me pretty much all the time. And I carry the pull force prepper one on me because I like to carry this scout style so it sits on me like this and it's very comfortable very easy to wear for hours and hours and hours even doing things that aren't necessarily woodsy or even while I'm not hiking it's still very comfortable to carry and like I said I just carry this pretty much all the time because I'll never know when I'm going hiking or adventuring outdoors so as far as defensive options go, because I like to slim it down in the summer and wear less clothes and less bulk, I'm rocking a pull force prep or I'm rocking a pull force November one for the defensive option. Of course, as a neck knife, this is primarily my defensive option, not really meant to be an outdoors like survival knife. I mean, it can fill that role, but primarily it's meant to just be my defensive option. So those are the two fixed blades. Now I'm getting into the two folders, or actually, I'll go over this tiny little multi-tool. Of course, this is my uh, Victorinox Classic SD, and this is an awesome, faithful, little, reliable, just great little multi-tool, and still carry it. It is a fabulous little thing to carry. It doesn't do a whole lot, but the things it does, I really love. So then, of course, no real surprises here, the Sebenza, the Chris Reeves Knives Sebenza 21 in Singo Grind, large, of course, and been loving this thing and carrying it literally ever since I got it. It's a great knife. And then probably my favorite one. You guys will, you guys older uh, EDC update watchers will know this knife. I actually have had this knife for quite some time, but unfortunately this last winter, about six months ago, I actually lost this knife in the snow and I could not find it. And in fact, when all the snow had melted, I went searching for it and I could not find it anywhere I thought I had lost it. And so I actually had given up on finding this knife, which was really sad because this is a Benchmade 556 Griptilian, or mini grip, and uh, I just loved this knife so much. For me, it was like the perfect knife, like perfect fit in the hand so well, and it was so great for doing tiny little tasks, and I really, really loved this knife, and I thought, and I still do think, it balances out my Sebenza, the large Sebenza, quite nicely. As you guys can see there, that's what the large Sebenza looks like. This is what the large Sebenza looks like versus the mini grip. And so carrying both of these knives, the mini grip really balances out uh, in size differentials. But anyways, I, while I was getting ready to get on my trampoline with my girlfriend, I saw this on the ground. I was like, oh my goodness, this knife. I was so excited. She didn't quite understand how excited I was to find this knife, but actually I had really missed it because, like I was saying, it's like so small and perfect for me doing small tasks. And I just like re-fell back in love with this knife because it is such a cool little knife. And I actually, like I said, I really missed it in that time. So anyways, this is back into the EDC collection. So happy about that. And you guys are probably gonna be seeing me rock this for the rest of the summer. Because like I said, I even when I back when I originally had this, I used to carry these two a lot because like I said, they balanced each other really well as far as, you know, this being a small knife, great for doing the smaller tasks and this being better for opening like larger boxes and larger letters and stuff like that. So I really love the way those two balance each other. And once again, I'm super excited to have that knife back. So now on to other things. So the next part is gonna be these three, and the first thing is lighting. I, me I mentioned in my EDC video a couple months back that I would be going over to this light. This is, and this is the Innova XS flashlight, and it's just a small, it's just a small little pen, essentially, flashlight. It runs off of one AAA, and I really like this one for summer carry because it actually still produces a lot of light, 110 lumens, and 
it's so tiny. Not to mention it also only uses one AAA. You guys can see there, it has two different modes. That's its brightest, that's its low setting. But it's actually quite bright. It uses one AAA and it's very small. You can see in my hands, and I do not have gigantic hands, but in even my like medium-sized hands, my hand completely can hold this thing. And so it's really nice and really small. And that's a huge advantage for when wanting to wear lighter weight and more summer, summery clothes. This uh, really works well. In addition, this also works quite nicely because, once again, it doesn't really get dark here in Alaska during the summer, so I don't really need a super powerful flashlight. So now on to the other two. I've been carrying these two for quite some time, and overall I've just found it useful to have both. Of course, this is a Sharpie marker for those who don't know, probably like the one person who doesn't know, and this is a Fisher Space Pen. And pretty basic, but very effective implements and just overall good for everyday day-to-day -to -day tasks. So the next thing is a Zippo. I've changed it up and went over to my black and red Zippo. This is, you guys will probably notice, hopefully it comes out on camera. This is a little bit different because I just started putting, um, this is bicycle inner tubing around the Zippo and I'm gonna have a video individualized for this little hack, but I really enjoy having this um, little piece of rubber here. And if you guys don't already, definitely do that because essentially that rubber acts like a gasket and helps keep your lighter fluid in there. So if you're, so if you're like me and you use your Zippos for survival purposes, you're not really using them day to day. This is a really handy thing to do because it helps keep the gas fumes actually contained in the Zippo. And so while certainly some will still leak out, this is gonna keep your Zippo fluid or your lighter usable for far longer. So the next thing is watches. Still only carrying just the Timex Expedition Sierra. Still really love this watch. Uh, just overall no real complaints about it. I like all of its functions on it. It's very functional for me and my lifestyle. I don't think I'm really going to change it up, but I might go over to a Seiko one day, possibly. I'm thinking about it. I'm debating whether I want to go for another watch, but I don't really know because I'm not like super, super into watches, but I will, I do appreciate how handy it is to have the time just being able to like just reference it off your wrist. So I definitely carry this watch every single day, but I don't know if I necessarily want like a collection of them. So now on to bracelets. For the most part, I carry a whole bunch of different types of bracelets. I just brought out a handful of ones that I usually wear. Of course, this is a dragon weave, this is a divided cobra, and this is dragon teeth. Just some of my favorite designs. Of course, if you guys want to see any of these or get any of these types of designs for yourself, definitely go check the link in the description below for my company where I make all of these weaves and even more. But these are just some of the weaves that I'm wearing for this month, but I wear a ton of them. <laughs> so now onto phone because it's just been sitting here. This is of course still the HTC One M9. Great phone, absolutely no complaints. Still my custom Kydex case. Nobody likes these cases, but I still love mine, especially for the fact that it can stand up on its own. I really appreciate that fact. And uh, I do love the handle. And I find that really nice to hold especially while you're doing things like running or like going downhill or even uphill while hiking. It's really nice to have that added security level that you know your phone's not gonna fall out of your hand. So that's why my case is still continues to be on here. As far as HTC One M9 goes, not gonna change it anytime soon because honestly, the HTC One M9 works just fine for me. So the next one part is wallets. Still rocking the recycled firefighter, Sergeant I think it is. Uh, slim wallet it's a really great wallet very basic and overall really awesome i find that it carries everything that i need it to carry and it's super minimalistic very tiny and really actually works quite well with summer carry once again trying to slim things down get them lightweight small in size like this flashlight and everything so just kind of trying to slim down the carry make sure that you know i do have larger things but the larger things are kept to a minimum course still rocking the oakley radar locks in the awesome like white and gunmetal gray love these oakley's and they work really great for me i know a lot of people are like hate oakley's but but for me the oakley's work really well and i really like this pair 
So guys, hopefully you liked that look at my everyday carry for June. Not sure when I'm going to be doing one next. May, might be in July, might be in August. If nothing else, I'll do one in August. But whenever I do one, definitely check it out. And as always, guys, that's all for now. I'm out.